What should have been the time of their lives for a group of school students was suddenly turned to tragedy on a caving trip in the north of England. After a nearby city's water supply began to overflow, it sent a raging torrent of water hurtling toward them. Trapped in a cave rapidly filling with water, they had no choice but to attempt to swim to safety. This is the story of the Manchester Hole Caving Tragedy. Located in the north of England, one of the best places to experience the British great outdoors is the Yorkshire Dales National Park. Crumbling castles, ancient dry stone walls, and unique geological formations make the Yorkshire Dales a popular destination all year round. One of the biggest drawcards to the area is the Nidderdale Cave System. Offering an underground adventure through a labyrinth of subterranean caves, passageways, and underground rivers, they're often considered the best in Britain. Upriver from the caves and playing a major part in this story is the Scar House Reservoir. Built to supply the water needs of the city of Bradford, the 170 acre or 70 hectare Scar House Reservoir holds more than 10 million cubic metres of water. Water released through the dam flows down the river Nid, then, through a series of natural sumps, disappears underground into the Goyden cave system. During times of heavy rain or strong winds, the water from the Scar House Reservoir often spills over the dam walls, causing more water than usual to flow into the valley and cave systems below. On Monday the 14th of November 2005, around 100 students and teachers from North Yorkshire's Tadcaster Grammar School arrived in the Yorkshire Dales for a multi-day outdoor adventure trip. The school trip was hosted by the Bewley Park Outdoor Education Centre, owned and operated by the North Yorkshire County Council. The Outdoor Education Centre offered many activities such as rock climbing, hill walking, camping, kayaking and caving, among other things. Split off into groups of around 11 students, accompanied by one teacher and a guide from the Outdoor Education Centre, each group went off separately to perform their various adventure activities. One of the most popular activities for students is Manchester Hole, part of the Goyden Cave System. Considered one of the more beginner-friendly caves in the area, Manchester Hole is a classic river cave that, combined with Goyden Pot, provides up to three hours of exploring. 14-year-old Joseph Lister of Steeton was one of 11 students to explore the cave that day, accompanied by one teacher and a guide from the Outdoor Education Centre. Equipped with headlamps and gumboots, the small group of excited students traversed the rocks during passageways of Manchester Hole. Unbeknown to the students, teacher and tour guide, just to the west of them, the Scar House Reservoir was about to send a raging torrent of water hurtling toward them. Heavy rains in the day prior meant the Scar House Reservoir was completely full, and the water was being pushed over the wall by the strong winds lashing it from the west. Oblivious to the danger the students were now in, they continued to venture further into the cave. However, several metres above ground, water was now pouring down into the cave, through one of the two natural sumps in the riverbed above. Still unaware of the danger they were in, the group had passed through an area known as the Crawl, a 3 foot or 90 centimetre high section of the cave that had to be traversed on hands and knees. Once they reached the other side, they found themselves trapped by rapidly rising water. Realising they could drown if they didn't return immediately, the tour guide ordered them back through the crawl. The trouble was, the short but very tight tunnel by this point was now entirely underwater. Although the students had crawled in only minutes earlier, now their task was to swim back out. Joseph Lister and Amy Ryder, both 14, were among the final students to attempt the escape. However, at the midway point, blocked by other students, they both turned around and had to swim back. Amy Ryder describes what happened next. The instructor looked at the rising water, looked at the tunnel, and then said, 
we're going to have to get through now or we won't get out alive. And with that, Amy and Joseph, followed by the two adults, took a deep breath and entered the tunnel. While the group experienced initial relief having made it safely to the other side, this almost immediately turned to trepidation. 14-year-old Joseph Lister had not re-emerged, and a quick head count had confirmed this fact. A desperate attempt by the teacher to swim back through in the hopes of locating the teenager had to be stopped by the guide, who said any attempt to re-enter would mean almost certain death. Upon the group's hurried exit from the cave, emergency services were alerted to the situation, and two Wharfdale Fowl rescue teams were scrambled to the area. The water had subsided by the time rescue teams entered the cave, making access much easier. Hoping 14-year-old Joseph Lister had somehow miraculously survived, all optimistic hopes were dashed when, at around 5 o'clock, his lifeless body was discovered, lying in a shallow pool of water near the last place he was seen. In the aftermath of the tragedy, the North Yorkshire County Council and the Outdoor Education Centre came under increasing criticism for their involvement in the tragedy. Most notably, why had no one checked the conditions at the Scar House Reservoir? In April of 2010, the North Yorkshire County Council, which owned the Outdoor Education Centre, faced two charges under the 1974 Health and Safety at Work Act for failing to ensure the safety of its staff and the students visiting that day. 18-year-old Amy Ryder, who was also in the cave that day and a close friend of Joseph, testified for the prosecution. After an almost six-week trial at the Leeds Crown Court, a jury found the North Yorkshire County Council not guilty of the charges laid against it. The judge who oversaw the case said after the verdict, In the end, the jury has concluded that there was nothing which the North Yorkshire County Council could have reasonably done to have avoided what happened. It is right and proper that they should have reached such a conclusion. For the one thing this case has taught is that, However great the expertise, and however easy the cave, they can be unpredictable and dangerous. This tragedy highlights the delicate balance between activities that are safe enough for beginners, yet challenging enough to be exciting, and the tragic consequences of getting it wrong.